Advent is the beginning of the church year. It begins on the fourth Sunday before Christmas and it ends on Christmas Eve. Advent is a season of preparation. We prepare for Christ's first coming as gentle savior and we prepare for Christ's second coming as conquering king. Advent calls us to remember that in Christ, God came to be with us and that through Christ, that we and all creation will be reconciled to God. This is a process in which we all now participate by faith in Christ, God's redeeming King. Advent is special to me and my family because we use the time to reflect on why Jesus came initially to the world to save us and also to reflect on his future coming to give us hope and joy. And for me, it's setting aside the busyness and taking four aspects of the Christmas story and emphasizing those throughout the month of the Advent season. Well, the exact time when Advent began to be celebrated isn't known. However, we do have records that show the liturgical calendar, the liturgical season, was in place by the 6th century. Historically, Advent has been more penitential, similar to Lent with practices such as fasting. In recent centuries, the Advent season has been more devotional and celebratory in nature as we put a greater emphasis on Christ's second coming. The term Advent is a version of the Latin word meaning coming. The Latin term Adventus is a translation of the Greek word parousia, which is often used to refer to the second coming of Christ. For us as Christians, the season of Advent anticipates the coming of Christ from two different perspectives. The season offers the opportunity to share in the ancient longing for the coming of the Messiah and to be alert for his second coming. When our kids were younger, uh, we had the Advent calendar and we would open it up um, every day until Christmas came along and uh, it gave them a, a better uh, understanding of the reason for the season that we're in. Yeah, I'd say for us as a family, uh, we just try to make Advent um, a time where we're more intentional about our Bible reading and prayer together as a family. Um, I think it's easy to get distracted and focused on the wrong things um, during this time of year. So we've done different things over the year. We've uh, read an Advent devotional together in the evenings. We've tried to be more creative and do something called a Jesse tree, which is a way to focus on the biblical narrative using 25 different symbols that represent 25 stories that all point to the coming Messiah. So each night we would read a Bible story and the kids would hang the ornament on the tree and it's fun for them and it's um, a way to keep the focus on Christ. As a preschool teacher, I love the season of Advent because as it gets closer to Christmas, the excitement of the children really starts to grow and it's contagious. It is a joy to share their joy and it is even more of a joy to be able to teach them the real meaning of Christmas from the Bible. I enjoy the season of Advent because it gives us an opportunity to look back at the events that led up to Jesus' birth and um, go through those stories again and realize that God had a plan through everything. It's just important to see that. The second Advent, I think, is best described through the use of an ancient Christian phrase, which is, Christ has died, and Christ has risen, and Christ will come again. And if the first Advent we celebrate the coming or the appearing of Jesus as a child, we remember as well as we celebrate that, that our Savior ascended into heaven and that he's going to return. And so one of the things that's really appropriate for us to do during the Advent celebrations is to remember that our Savior will come again and that he will make all things new. Welcome to Advent at Orland Park Christian Reformed Church, where we celebrate the birth of our Savior and remember the fact that our King will return.